Hey yo YouTube, what's good? It's your girl Dom, and I'm back with another video. In this video, bro, we got 15 times animals mess with the wrong opponent. And you know, we got the big lions, we got the big uh, what, elephantos, we got the uh, um, I don't know why I said elephantos, but just go with it. Um, giraffes and all that other shit. Big, you know, the huge. You forget about the little guys. You know what I'm saying? Some of these little animals is dangerous. Anyway, let's go. I'm a little high, so don't judge me. Hit that like and subscribe button. And let's get into this. If you ever thought your life was tough, well, you should take a look at these angry animals. Yet life in the animal kingdom is brutal, and everyday creatures are forced to defend their lives by any means necessary. It's a game of survival where the winner survives to see another day. And the loser, well, the loser pays the highest cost of all. <laughs> Yet yeah, the stakes have never been higher. From an aggressive octopus with a point to prove, to big cats wrestling with giant bears, these are the 15 times animals messed with the wrong opponent. <laughs> when dinner strikes back. When we think of a delicious meal, we usually don't picture a steak topped with thousands of sharp pointy quills. However, it seems that, like this... That's the reason why I clicked on it, because that was a thumbnail. Boa Constrictor bit off more than he could chew when he devoured a prickly porcupine. Ouch, that looks that's pretty painful. This snake has been impaled from the inside Ooh. by dozens of super sharp spikes, proving that this porcupine wasn't Ooh, going down without green. a fight. These 13 foot... I've never seen green... Spikes from a porcupine. Hmm. Reptiles aren't venomous, but they do have another sinister technique that they use to catch their prey. Well, maybe it's from they it, will coil from around the their victims, the snake, squeezing them tightly until they either stop breathing or their <clears> heart <throat> fails. The snake tries to shake these razor sharp quills, but seems to have no luck. The worst part is it can actually take a boa constrictor four to six days to digest their food. So this prickly mammal isn't going away anytime soon. We've got a feeling this, this snake hurt. will be going on a strict porcupine free diet after this ordeal. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? No, but that's probably a lie though. I said probably. Yeah, this tiny pup may be small, but he's powerful. When Jules the Bulldog found a trio of intruders on his owner's property, he decided to take matters into his own hands. That bear quick or should we say, pause. Yeah, this 20 mm. pound French Bulldog. They look like they was having fun. Who had stumbled onto his porch in search of food. Not on his watch. Jules chased away these Californian bear cubs, despite the fact yeah, that they see, were almost twice say, yeah. his size. They was yeah. twice his size, but they were still cubs, so it looked like they was playing to me. You let me know what you think. More and more bears are becoming bold enough to try and break into humans' houses in search of a snack. We made USAA, USAA. insurance for members like King. A former army medic made of the flexibility to handle whatever Monday has. So having a guard dog like Jules always comes in handy. Even though these sneaky bears try to intimidate the bulldog with their strength, this proud pooch won't back down. Yet this bark may be worse than his bite but Jules' defense strategy really works mm. when it comes to these pesky bears. You tell them. They were bear cubs. Mm. That's the only reason why that worked. I don't care what Shark versus saying. octopus. Okay, we've all wondered who would win in a fight between a mega shark and a giant octopus, Depends but the real the answer might actually shock you. Yet yeah, the deadly shark is no match for this eight legged foe, and the epic showdown was even captured on camera. Employees at an aquarium in Seattle, United States had started to notice that their shark population was mysteriously declining and they couldn't figure out why their dogfish kept perishing. Discovering their bodies on the floor of the tank, they decided to set up a secret dogfish. camera to figure out who the culprit Who thought of the name of the dogfish shark? I think there was some lazy shit. Oh yeah, that's a dogfish. Other one, that's a catfish. <laughs> the fuck? It really was. And yeah, you guessed it. Lazy the bitch. giant Pacific octopus turned out to be the killer. It seems like the octopus had a real score to settle with these sharks. Now, while sharks are known for their rows of dagger-like teeth, 
The giant Pacific octopus has eight powerful tentacles, each with two rows of suckers that can lock their prey into a deadly grip that they can't escape. Weighing between 40 to 50 pounds and measuring up to 20 yeah, feet long, octopus, this octopus bro. is one but they do taste good. strong opponent. Wrapping its arms around the shark, the octopus flips it upside down, <laughs> paralyzing it due to a natural phenomenon called tonic immobility. Now that's what we call a wrestling that. move. Well, the moral of this story is clear. That's Don't what I ever call keep an octopus in a tank with a Corey. shark. <laughs> Four-legged friend fights eight-legged freak. From a Thanks giant video, octopus though, who isn't afraid it. to tackle the ocean's most notorious predator, to another octopus that's found itself in the middle of a feud with a not-so-scary house cat. That's right. A lot of this people don't like cats, and is really I don't know giving why. the octopus a run for its money. I do. In fact, the octopus looks like all it wants to do is escape the kitty. Even though they think that we're just big cats or malfunctioning cats or whatever that article said. Hey and get back in the water where it belongs. Well, we can't say that we blame it. Yeah, in the sea, the octopus is a fearsome figure that strikes terror into the heart of any creature who dares to cross it. Man, but on land, you know good and well if that big ass fucking octopus would have got a hold of that cat in or out of water. If that cat would, bro, that cat would have been done. It's a whole different story. This hungry cat is craving a little calamari for lunch. Unfortunately for this kitty, its slippery ocean opponent makes a tenacious escape, but it certainly makes a difference to see the octopus being put in its place. This underwater bully is... Google Fi, a phone plan by Google. Meet Simply Unlimited, our most affordable plan for unlimited... Getting a taste of its own medicine. <laughs> he ain't like the octopus, it's like the, the bad guy of the ocean. Hounds harass hippo. We can't believe that this pack of wild dogs would dare to try to hunt a hippo. Now, hippos may seem slow and lazy, because they but in reality, packs. this giant mammal is one of the more dangerous animals in the world. That's right, you really Anyone don't want to mess with a hippo with enormous hell. sharp teeth and a seriously bad temper. The hippopotamus is officially the, the most deadly animal mouth. in all of Africa. In fact, they're also responsible for killing around 3,000 people every they year. Do, they they can they on their periods all the time. Run at a speed of 18 <laughs> miles an hour and weigh a staggering 1,800 kilograms. Just think of them as the sumo wrestlers of the animal kingdom. Yeah, these oversized predators are mainly vegetarian, but even a lion would avoid a hungry hippo. That's what makes this fight between a huge hippo and a pack of wild Lions dogs all the more shocking. Lions are low-key lazy. They might get easy food. Shit, who don't? Wild dogs like this will work together in packs of up to 20 and try to wear out their prey, pouncing when their victim has run out of energy to fight you back. Know what I'm saying. However, these dogs, filmed in a South African safari park, got way more Some than they bargained larger. for. What were they thinking? <laughs> Taming of the Shrew. Now, if there is one critter that you don't want to start a fight with, it's got to be the deadly scorpion. These infamous arthropods are one of the oldest land animals in the world, and around 450 million years ago, they would have measured around three feet long, armed three with their feet. signature stinger. Today, the largest scorpion... Three feet? A three foot long scorpion, bro? Uh-uh, no thanks. ...grows to about nine inches long, but that no. doesn't make it any less terrifying. The These fuck? venomous creatures can use toxins to sting their prey and leave them writhing in pain. But for some reason, that doesn't stop this courageous shrew. That's right, a shrew woke up one day and thought to himself, this is the day I battle a scorpion. Oh, well, this he must is the have day had I chose steel, death. Whereas a scorpion has a low metabolic rate, meaning it can survive for almost a whole year without eating a meal, the shrew actually has one of the highest metabolisms on earth, and if it doesn't eat 80 to 90% of its own body weight each day, it will die. Yeah, you'd have to be desperate to try and tackle a scorpion especially when you consider the fact that these tiny mammals are so easily startled that they can drop dead at the slightest surprise. This boxing what? match with a scorpion might just be the last fight of its life. However, the shrew does actually have one trick up its sleeve. So Bespoke Post, they just sent I think I've seen a, a documentary on this. They, I think they hunt those scorpions. Yeah, shrews are actually venomous too. This is extremely unusual for a mammal but the shrew actually has enough venom in its glands to kill 200 mice, or perhaps one scorpion? 
Polar bear pokes the beast. At night, yeah, too. The polar bear might be one of the baddest, biggest apex predators on Earth. But even yeah, they are too scared to go head to head with the giant walrus. Yeah, that motherfucker looks time, hungry. Anyway. In this surprising Aww. video footage, documentarians captured the moment that this furry white killer dared to harass a walrus. The bear was probably checking to see if this particular walrus was weak enough to drag away from the herd. But that was still a bold move from the polar bear. It's Sadly, hungry. the polar bears are becoming more and more desperate for food as the sea ice continues to melt. So this may have yeah. been a risk. Bro, I love watching nature documentaries. What is it to do, David David Attenborough or Burrow? I don't know. How he, David Attenborough. You know him. You know the dude. The dude that does all the the voiceovers. You know the English guy. But yeah. My shit. That the bear had no choice but to take. To With an adult walrus weighing shit. around 2,000 kilograms and a polar bear only weighing around 350 to 700 kilograms, the sheer size of the walrus alone is enough to deter most bears from trying to eat walrus from breakfast. Not to mention the fact that walruses can live in colonies of up to 100,000 animals in the Arctic. With only 25,000 or so polar bears left in the wild, they're seriously outnumbered. When it comes to animal opponents, walruses are the heavyweight champions of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. Tiger vs. Bear From one deadly bear to another, the sloth bear, native to India, is said to be the most dangerous bear in the world. Yep, they can grow up to too. six feet long. In this jaw-dropping footage caught by a guard in the Tadoba Andari Tiger and Reserve in India, this brave Bengal tiger battled with a 300-pound sloth bear and a spectacular turf war that's rarely ever seen by humans. At first, this majestic big cat knocks the sloth bear to the floor, but this fierce bear isn't ready to give up just yet. Taking a huge swipe at the stripy beast with its long claws, the yeah. battered sloth bear is ready for a fight. It's believed that this bear had a cub nearby and was acting on its maternal instincts to protect its young. Yeah. Yeah, if there's anything more dangerous than a sloth bear, it's a sloth bear with a baby. Don't mess with this mama. According to National Geographic, uh, the sloth bear is actually responsible for killing more humans me, than bitch. any other species of bear, and now it's emerged that even the mighty tiger will. One of my favorite footwear brands out there is this brand called Tonto Footwear. Um, take a look, you can see for yourself these things. Will surrender to defeat when it comes to this deadly creature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. big. Close. The coyote otter know better. You've never seen a sloth bear Google that shit. This coyote is not so <coughs> wily. Yep, this wolf-like creature was one-upped by a much smaller opponent, a rival otter. Now that's gotta be embarrassing. <laughs> we hope none of its coyote friends witness this humiliating showdown. That's right, coyotes and river otters who share habitats like the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming sometimes butt heads. You just gonna mess with the otter, bro. They was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? They were just. You know what I'm but saying? But it's not you always the predator who wins. Shit, Sometimes the prey decides to fight back. Burrowed into the ice, this river otter found himself to be the target of this crafty coyote. But instead of swimming away, he decided to show the coyote exactly what he was made of. Otters have super sharp teeth too and have been responsible for seriously injuring humans before. Giant otters in the Amazon yeah. will even attack crocodiles jaguars they and anacondas all, okay so otters aren't either. exactly as cute and innocent as we thought they were yeah they may hold each other's hands when they fall asleep but they'll also fight against creatures much bigger than they are oh, this wow, coyote messed with like the wrong three. opponent <laughs> the real king of the jungle looking at the ferocious jaguar you would never guess that they had a secret phobia but this shocking video footage reveals exactly what the mighty king of the jungle was really afraid of Ant eaters. Yeah, believe it or not, even the biggest cat in South America doesn't want to mess with this creepy ant eater. But what's so scary about this medium sized mammal anyway? Surely there are no match for this spotted predator. Well, you mean to tell me a jaguar is scared of an ant eater, bro? The truth may actually shock you. The giant ant eater has a razor sharp, four inch long claw that it uses for shredding apart termite mounds but is certainly not afraid to use these deadly weapons to fight off any threats that may lurk in the shadows of the rainforest. When this jaguar came along sniffing a potential meal, what he didn't seem to realize was that this furry creature was actually one of his sworn enemies. No wonder he backed off so quickly. 
Ant eaters have been known to stand upright when a predator approaches, reaching an intimidating seven feet tall and unveiling its fuck? hidden claws seven to feet? anyone who gets too close. That's quite a scary look for an animal that exclusively eats ants. Hmm. Cockroach wow. bullies the bull. It's amazing how the planet makes animals like like how the circle of life thing goes you know what i mean like who the thought fucking an anteater would be an animal like you know what i'm saying Ooh. like he that's all Nothing he eat. comes between a rooster and his She's crazy bro especially not a bunch of cows that's right when this protective rooster felt as though these farmyard bulls were overstepping their boundaries he immediately warned them away with a series of increasingly aggressive moves these loyal and extremely territorial birds seem to be completely fearless despite the fact that they're nothing more than a pumped up feather duster yeah. full of rage yeah, there's playing. no way that a cockerel could take on a bull and win but hey the bulls don't seem to know that the terrified cattle stumble backwards as the rooster headbutts his opponents without a care in the world well, probably that's what you get when you too. mess with the chickens don't ever cross a cockerel and we can see what the pecking order of this cockerel? farm is who the fuck named this motherfucker I'm sorry, I know I cuss a lot in my videos, but you know what? Fuck it. This rooster's come first, and every other animal does exactly what they're told. We just hope the farmer has some authority in this situation. <laughs> honey badger has no fear. It really is true what they say. The ruthless honey badger honey has no fear. Uh, These mean. small creatures might look like an oversized rodent, but they're actually one of the toughest animals on the entire African continent. They Me eat killer hell. bees for breakfast, hunt lions for lunch, and it looks like this fearless honey badger has chosen this deadly snake for dinner. Yet when an African rock python tried to take down this insane creature, he must have instantly regretted his decision. Honey badgers are the best pound for pound fighters in the world, and despite its small stature, it's shockingly strong and powerful. Yeah, it would be fair to say these aggressive animals are the psychopaths of the animal kingdom. You'd have to be utterly crazy to try and fight with one of these bold badgers. It doesn't matter if you're large and in charge, mean as seriously hell. venomous, or sitting at the top of the food chain, the honey badger will fight back with everything it's got. Wow, we kind of feel sorry for this slithering snake. Now that's a sentence I never thought I'd look, say. Look, 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 look. <laughs> try and take his shit. Like, he like, motherfucker, I just, this bitch just tried to kill me. I'm eating this motherfucker. Mongoose vs. Cobra. Yes, snakes have enjoyed their sinister status for too long, it seems. Everyone is fighting back against the sneaky serpent these days. This time, their opponent is the humble mongoose. The miniature mammal might look pretty weak, but they managed to summon up the strength to take on the mighty cobra. Luckily, speed is on their side, and they can avoid the cobra's vicious attacks, and they're not even afraid to have a cheeky wrestle with this cold-blooded reptile. Yet the mongoose is one of the cobra's biggest rivals, and curiously, these fluffy little mammals are actually... Yo, bro. Look at this shit. They voted out hot chicks. That's something you need to talk about in your show. Are they fucking retarded? Hot chicks? Yes, they see. voted out hot chicks. Hot chicks was funny as fuck. You remember that's when he, he turned into a, uh, he was a girl. Oh, child, what? I mean. I said, bring it, I told him, bring it all can go. Bring it all was not as funny as any of those. No, Mean Girls. Mean Girls, the boy who is a bitch. Yeah, you clueless. So. <laughs> Give me my shirt back. I mean, yeah, I'd rather have Hot Chicken was the funniest out of all of them. Man, right? Remember when he was dancing? Mm -hmm. They so That's fucking so lame, lame, yo. Rob what was Schneider. funny about Hot? Because Gabby is fucking hilarious. Right? Don't discredit him. No. Bitches. <laughs> that was a moment in my life. <laughs> All right, Chuck. Actually immune to the snake's deadly poison. That's right, the mongoose knows that it's safe from the poisonous spite of the Cape Cobra, and it's time to show the king of snakes who is the real boy. <laughs> Boss, who knew that the mongoose was such a brave creature? Looks like this mongoose will be dining on snake steak tonight. Victory never tasted so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. The kitty and the croc. 
This furry feline ain't afraid of no croc, and that's right, this fluffy pet cat seems to think it's actually a lion. We all know that cats have big egos, but this kitty is really taking it to the next level. This motherfucker is stupid. Wearing up to an enormous 14-foot alligator in the Cajun swamps of Louisiana, this cat couldn't have picked a more terrifying target. Alligators are known for their powerful scaly bodies, razor-sharp prehistoric fangs, and killer instincts, whereas the cat is known for knocking things off surfaces and trying to fight with laser pointers. But well, looks like this particular kitty has a point to prove, and it even puts on a show for tourists on boat trips in the swamp. One onlooker even filmed the cat's campaign of terror against the alligator, in a video that later went viral all over the internet. As the cat pounces on the gigantic alligator, you can practically feel everyone on the boat holding their breath. But the croc doesn't even try to fight back, and the house cat comes out victorious. The Child, final the score. The only reason kitty, why the, the cat became victorious is because they got the fucking chicken in front. You ain't see that? Let me let me rewind that for y'all, cause I don't think you peep that. Motherfucker, he wasn't worried about the cat. The cat was worried about him. Pain of terror against the alligator in a video that later went viral all over the internet. As the cat pounces on the gigantic alligator, you can practically feel everyone on the boat holding their breath. But the croc doesn't see? even try to fight back, and the house cat comes out victorious. The final score, Kitty 1, Crocodile That's why the crocodiles zero. come up there. Hmm? Cool. Wait, for real, for real. Lion learns his lesson. The oh, lion might be the official king one. of the jungle, the but even giraffe, big cats that's have the video. Yet the African lion will one. attack just about anything that moves, but when it comes to mealtime, giraffes are most definitely not on the menu. Standing at 20 feet high, the giraffe is the tall... They're not on the menu, but at... At a, they're at a different rest. See, the giraffe is like the high class restaurant of the, you know, wild, if you would, for the for the lions. If that makes sense, it makes sense because I'm high. Tallest land mammal on the planet, and they certainly have a size advantage over the mighty lion. They can run at a whopping 60 kilometers an hour, making them incredibly difficult to I've hunt as well. I've seen that one. That's so why not try and take down a giraffe when it least expects it? Well, the giraffe has thought of that too. They actually sleep standing up, so that if any sneaky predator tries to ambush them in the night, they can simply deliver a swift kick that's powerful enough to throw them across the savanna. Yet giraffes have <laughs> such a strong <laughs> Not kick them across that they the really should consider a career in soccer. A lion would have to be seriously hungry yeah, to try and topple a giraffe fuck, and risk a brutal booty. Mama lion up. We always thought that these giraffes were gentle vegetarians, but this tall creature really knows how to defend itself. We're team giraffe all the way. Yikes, living in the animal kingdom sure is tough, but which one of these feisty opponents is the most intimidating of them all? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. I mean, and don't forget to give us a I big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I still think the one that was worse was the, the snake. They got the porcupine from the inside with the spikes up. Oh, oh my God, like, it seemed like it really fucking hurt. But anyway, man, if you like that video, like and subscribe. I see y'all. Peace.